In this video we're going to be talking about how to fix choppy video playback in Shotcut by transcoding your footage into an intermediate file format using DNxHR or HuffYUV. DNxHR HQ is an intermediate codec, which basically just means it's an edit friendly codec. Now DNxHR HQ is visually lossless with minimal compression. Now minimal or less aggressive compression of your files means your video editing software will be able to decode the video files faster, resulting in less lag during playback while editing. Now the major downside to minimal compression is significantly larger file sizes. So the less aggressive the compression of your codec is, the faster the decode time or the less choppy your playback is going to be in your video editing software, but consequently the larger your file sizes are going to be. Now when comparing DNxHR to another commonly used intermediate file format such as ProRes, DNxHR takes less encoding time and produces a much smaller file size. Additionally, ProRes exports in 10-bit 444, while DNxHR exports in 8-bit 422. And if you're editing using Shaka, you're most likely editing and exporting in 8-bit for now since Shaka currently operates in 8-bit. While DNxHD can only export in resolutions up to 1080p, DNxHR can export up to 4K. So the first thing to do is add your video files to the playlist. Now to export in DNxHR, you're going to click on export and you're going to click on the DNxHR HQ preset on the left side of Shotcut. Once you've clicked on the preset, you're going to go through the settings, video, codec, audio, and other. You're going to click from and change playlists to each playlist item. Next, we're going to look at the video export tab. So the first thing you're going to do is make sure your resolution, aspect ratio, and frame rate is set to what it should be. The way you can find these is go to your source file, right click, go to properties, details, and this is where you're going to find your resolution and frame rate. So make sure your export video settings match that of your source footage. Scan mode is most likely progressive, and everything below that doesn't matter if you're using progressive footage. For example, 1080p instead of interlaced 1080i. Next, let's go to the codec page. Because you clicked the preset, your codec is already set. For rate control, you're going to set quality based VBR. Now, depending on the specs of your computer and the bit rate that you recorded your footage at, you may want to set your quality below 100%, but I always set it to 100%. Leave GOP at 1, B frames at 0, codec thread 0. Next, go into the audio tab. Now, if you're going to put music over your footage and you're not going to use the audio, this doesn't really matter. But if you are going to use the audio, set your rate control to constant bit rate and set your bit rate to 512k. Now, looking at the other tab, again, because we clicked that preset, everything here is set the way we need it. So now you're going to click export file, find a folder where you want to put your files, name the file, for example video, and then when you save it, all your videos will be named video 1, video 2, and so on. Now let's look at HuffYUV. So I currently export in HuffYUV, which is truly lossless and involves even less compression than DNxHR. This results in larger exported video file sizes, but even less choppy playback than with an intermediate video file format such as DNxHR. Minimizing the compression of your original file means you'll be able to color grade more aggressively before you start to see artifacting or visual breakdown of the video file. I use this because backup hard drive storage is relatively cheap these days, and at very high bit rates I still often face a bit of lag on playback once I've applied a series of filters, such as stabilization, color grading, and so on. Setting your export settings using HuffYUV is a very similar process to DNxHRHQ. Just select the HuffYUV export preset, and follow the same steps that you did for the DNxHR HQ preset. Set your source to come from each playlist item. Under the video tab, set your resolution, aspect ratio, and frame rate. Under the codec tab, set your rate control to quality-based VBR. Set your quality to 100% or lower if your computer can't handle what bitrate you recorded at. If you plan to use your source audio, go to the audio tab and set your rate control to constant bitrate. And set your bitrate to 512k. Finally, click export file and save your files to a designated folder. And that's it. Finally, I'm going to play my source footage, followed by a HuffYUV transcode of that source file. One thing you want to make sure you do is go to settings, video mode, and make sure the video mode matches the resolution and the frame rate of your source footage. This is going to ensure a smooth and accurate playback of your source video files.